Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the 122nd question on lead code called Best Time to Buy and Sell the Stock Part 2. This is very similar to part 1 question, but <clears throat> you're here anyway, so we'll talk about that. I'll leave the, the link to that part 1 video in the description and in the i button. So this question says you're given an integer array prices where price i is the price of a given stock on the ith day. On each day, you may decide to buy and or sell the stock, and you have to. You can hold at most one share of the stock at any time. However, you can buy it then immediately and say on the same day. You have to find return at the maximum profit you can achieve. So, what this means is that you have to. Uh, it's very similar to the first, first one, as I previously discussed. But in this situation, you have to return the maximum accumulated profit that you can achieve. So, for example, in uh, the first example we have, this is the array. So it says that you can buy on a uh, day two where price equal one and sell on a day three where price equal five. That that gives you a profit of four. Then again, after you've done that, on day four you can uh, you can buy a three and you can sell on day five where the uh, stock value is six, making a profit of six minus three equals three. So total profit will be equal to four plus three seven. Another example could be one two three four five. So you can, uh, you can buy on day one and sell on day five to make a maximum profit of four. So uh, how I would do this would be, I will buy on day one and sell on day two. It's a greedy approach. Buy on, then again, buy on day two, uh, sell on day three. Greedy approach. So you are making cumulative sum over here. Still, the situation will be exact same. So the difference between two minus one is one. The difference between three minus three minus two is equal to one again. Four minus three, one again. Five minus four again. So total sum will be again equal to four, right? Third condition could be that you uh, you have a an ad, you have the array in a non-ascending uh, ordered fashion. In that case, though, you would not make any profit. Uh, so you'll have to. Uh, uh, re return the value profit the value of profit being equal to zero because you've made no profit there so how we would achieve this uh how we would achieve the solution is um is what we're gonna look at right so let's say you have something like this over here okay so initially i would say your profits value being equal to should be equal to zero the reason being if you have the array in a non uh, ascending ordered fashion then you would make no profit. So you can ultimately at the very end, you can return the profit that is equal to zero. But let's say you have an array, something like this thing. So I will have two pointers over here, something like this thing and over here. So I'll call this as the left pointer and I will call this as the right pointer. All right. So <clears throat> then I will have to have a variable that will store the current profit. So the current profit in this situation is in negative. So we don't want this. So if this is equal to negative, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to carefully. Um, yeah, I'm going to carefully uh, update it. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment both the pointers by one. Right. So right will become will come over here and left will come over here right fair enough again again i will store the current look at the current profit current profit is equal to the value of the right pointer minus the value of the left pointer that is five minus one that is four now if it is positive if the current profit is equal is greater than let's say zero or it's profit uh, or it's positive then in that situation i will increment the profit by that current profit so I will say z profit is equal to zero plus four in this situation. All right, then I'll continue again. I will move the right pointers and left pointers uh, to, to the right by one. Something like this thing. Look at the current profit again, three minus five. The value is negative two. Since it's negative, I will not, I will not add the value to the profit variable, All right? Again, move the pointers to the right something like this look at the value of the right pointer minus the value of the left pointer that's six minus three three i will update i will add this value to the profit over here so i will say three as such i will continue updating my right pointer something like this thing and look at the left pointer something like this so i will continue the entire process until your right pointer reaches the end of the year so the current pro profit in this situation is 
negative 2. 4 minus 6, negative 2. I will not add it. That's it. Whatever the value is remaining, right? Whatever the value you're left with at the end, I will simply return the profit that you have. So I would say to at the end, return me the profit. So in this situation, I have the profit is equal to 7. So I hope this made sense to you. Let's try to code this in Python, shall we? So I will say, yeah. So I will look at this. I will say, I will create a left pointer. Excuse me. Uh, create a left pointer that says is equal to zero, and a right pointer that says it's one. And I will initially, I will initialize the profit to zero, and I will continue the entire entire um traversal of the array till my right pointer is less than the length of the prices lowest right then i'm going to simply give a condition where if the prices at the left side is less than sorry wait yeah is greater than equal to the prices on the right side i would say I don't want anything to do over here. I simply update both pointers. I would say right plus equals one and left plus equal one. All right. In every other case, that means your right hand side, the value of the right hand side is greater than the left side. I would say that your right side, so I would say current profit, let's say current profit is equal to the value at right hand side minus the value at the left hand side very simple and update both the pointers again so before you update the profit uh the pointers you will have to make sure that you're adding this to this the the current profit value since it's positive to the profit over here so i would say profit profit is equal to so is plus equal to current profit Right and update both the points. So say right plus equal one, left plus equal one. All right, and towards the end, simply return the profit. So um, let's try to um, solve this. Let's try to have some. Uh, let's use some test cases. So in the interest of saving time, I've added. I've already created the main function. So in this main function, I'm I've given three um, lists over here as such. Right, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to simply run this. I'm gonna run this, right? And um, for the first one, the answer should be seven, the second one, the answer should be four, and the third one should be zero. Let's try to run this, right? It's working absolutely fine. So let's try to uh, run this entire solution in lead code as well, and hopefully, it should give us a solution, right? So over here. Try to submit it. Awesome. So it has successfully submitted. So this is how you would do it, and it's a very efficient way of solving this problem. Should you have any questions or your concerns, please be sure to comment on this video, and I'll see you at the next one. Till next time, cheers, folks.